this is Gina from Eton Corporation. Today I'm going to show you some key features of the FRX5. The items that come with your FRX5 include the unit itself and a USB to micro USB cable. The FRX5 has four power sources to ensure you never run out of power. The internal rechargeable 2000 milliamp lithium battery, solar panel, hand crank, or three optional AAA batteries. To charge your FRX5, use the included cable and connect the micro USB end to the FRX5 and the other end to your own phone's USB charging block. You will see the lights illuminate on the front of the FRX5 to know that it is charging. You can also charge the FRX5 by placing it in direct sunlight. The large high efficiency solar panel on the back of the FRX5 automatically recharges the battery. If the FRX5 batteries are depleted and you don't have access to sunshine or power to charge it via USB, simply turn the crank for 4 minutes to get 10 to 15 minutes of radio time or 1 minute of talk time for your phone. To charge your phone from the FRX5, use your device's charging cable and connect the USB end to the FRX5 and the other end to your phone. To start charging your phone, press the cell button on the FRX5. Your phone will now show that it is charging. The FRX5 can also be used to charge tablets. To listen to weather band stations, press the weather band button on the FRX5. Scroll up or down to tune into the weather band station for your area. To turn on the alert function, press the weather band alert button while listening to your weather band station. The weather band alert indicator will appear on the screen. After turning on the alert function, the weather band audio will turn off but it will continue to monitor the station for alerts and turn on the audio when an alert is issued for your area. To turn on the flashlight on the right side of the FRX5, press the light button once. Press the light button again and hold the button down to dim the flashlight. To turn on the ambient light on top of the FRX5, press the light button three times. Press the light button again and hold the button down to dim the ambient light. Finally, I will review the SAME feature of the FRX5 specific area message encoding alerting you to sudden severe events like tornadoes and wildfires. You can set your FRX5 to receive a single location alert, multiple locations up to 25, or all locations. For this example, I'm going to set an SAME alert for a single county location, Cleveland County, Oklahoma, where they encounter lots of tornadoes. To start, press the menu button. Rotate the tuning knob upwards until you see the words County Single appear on the FRX5 screen. Press the weather band button to confirm the selection. The word Single will now be flashing on the screen. Press the weather band button to confirm the selection. The screen will now display 01, the memory location of the single SAME alert. Press the weather band button to confirm the selection. Rotate the tuning knob to select USA or Canada or user set if you know your own SAME code number that you want to enter instead of selecting from the preloaded SAME codes on the FRX5. For this example, we will select USA and press the weather band button to confirm the selection. Rotate the tuning knob to scroll through the US states or provinces if you selected Canada earlier. For this example, we will select the state of Oklahoma. Press the weather band button to confirm the selection. Rotate the tuning knob to scroll through the counties in Oklahoma and stop scrolling when you see Cleveland County appear on the screen. Press the weather band button to confirm the selection. The SAME alert is now saved onto the FRX5 and you will see the word saved flash across the screen. Shortly afterwards, you will also see 01 Cleveland, the memory location of the SAME alert, flash across the screen too. Repeat this process for each memory location, 1 through 25, when setting SAME alerts in multiple modes. If you want to be notified of any SAME alert, simply select All Mode instead of Single or Multiple Mode. 